Hey everybody, Stats2002 here, and in my previous video, I went over the supposed best drag car for each class in Need for Speed Unbound, but turns out I was highly misinformed. So after doing more research, I am bringing you the actual best drag cars in each class in Need for Speed Unbound. With that being said, Let's start with B-Class, for which there are two builds. The first one is the Ferrari Testarossa, and the engine you will use is the 225 horsepower 4.9 liter V8. Then for the parts, you want the Sport Induction, the Elite ECU, the Super Fuel System, the basic exhaust, it'll be naturally aspirated, and since nitrous upgrades are useless, we'll leave it at sport. Then you want elite road suspension, sport brakes, because brakes don't matter, and then tires, leave them alone, because you don't need to get tires honestly just waste of money at that point and then clutch you want that at pro then put the gearbox to a four speed and then you want the elite differential then for handling you want 20 percent drift so you can have as much bi points as possible to add extra power Steering sensitivity and downforce are all the way down. Traction control and drift entry are both off. Oh, and by the way, this rev text to 143 at times. It's a bit hard to get 143, but you can get to 140 pretty easily. pretty easily. But as I said, there is a second build. It is the Mercury Cougar. This thing is just as good as the Testarossa, somehow, some way. You can rev tech it to 138. No problem. For this Cougar, you will be using stock engine. And for parts, you'll need the super induction, basic ECU, Elite fuel system, basic exhaust, the Elite Root Supercharger, obviously Sport Nitrous, Elite Road Suspension, brakes and tires are both going to be stock because, well, they don't matter, obviously. And then you want the Elite Clutch, leave in the three speed gearbox and the differential. Honestly, it doesn't matter because you can't get it to 159. So handling, I just left it at 20% drift. Steering sensitivity and downforce are once again all the way down, as they should be on a drag car. And then trash control and drift entry are obviously off. So for A class, we have the 240Z, which you'll be using the stock engine for, and parts, you want 
the sport induction, the pro ECU, the sport fuel system, sport exhaust, the elite root supercharger, sport nitrous, elite off-road suspension, sport brakes, sport off-road tires, sport clutch, the five-speed gearbox, and the elite differential. Then for handling, 80% drift, steering sensitivity and downforce are all the way down, traction control and drift entry are off. For A+, plus, we have the 65 Mustang, and once again, you will be using stock engine. For the parts, everything's elite, including the elite root supercharger for the engine. You want sport nitrous, elite off-road suspension, brakes and tires, you'll leave those alone. You'll put in the elite clutch. The six speed gearbox and the sport differential. Then for handling, 55% drift, steering sensitivity and downforce are all the way down, traction control and drift entry are off. Somehow this thing smokes Camaros whenever I race. So I decided to use this build and it's very, very good. Okay, once again we have two builds for S-Class, and the first of these two is the Fairlady 240 by Nissan. The engine you're going to want is the 2.9 liter V6 that starts with 505 horsepower, then for the parts everything is elite for the engine including the single turbo but nitrous is going to stay sport and then you'll need off-road suspension at elite keep the brakes at sport and then put on sport off-road tires as well and then put on the elite clutch the eight speed gearbox and the elite differential and then for handling 80% drift and then steering sensitivity and downforce all the way down traction control and drift entry are off
And here's the other S-Class build. You see it. It's the Volvo 242DL. I'm not kidding. Because for the engine, you can put in the Plymouth Barracuda engine, which I have done. And then for the parts, everything is elite, including the Roots Supercharger. And then Nitrous is going to stay at Sport, of course. Then you want Elite Road Suspension. Brakes are basic, tires are basic. Then the Elite Clutch, the 6-speed gearbox, and the basic diff. Because you don't really need to have it. I left the handling slider at 20% drift because I didn't need to change it. Steering sensitivity and downforce are all the way down. Trash control and drift entry are off. And now we have finally reached S plus the last build it's the S15 and in the S15 you will be putting in the 903 horsepower 3.8 liter V8 hybrid the parts will be having to change the super turbo into a elite root supercharger everything else will be the same and then elite road suspension leave the brakes and tires alone and then elite clutch eight speed gearbox diff doesn't matter in this case so I just left the handling slider alone. Steering sensitivity and downforce are all the way down and trash control and drift entry are off. So yeah, those are the best drift builds for every class in Need for Speed Unbound. I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.